Hi, everyone. I'm Colleen Fritz. I'm an assistive technology specialist with Palm Beach County School District. And today we are going to be talking about shared reading. So I'm going to share my screen with you. shared reading, and we're going to talk specifically about the CAR strategy. So we have some learning objectives today. We're going to define shared reading. We're going to define the CAR strategy. We're going to discuss type of students that will benefit from the CAR strategy. We're going to provide a framework for choosing books and implementing the CAR strategy. Let's get started. So shared reading. These are some of the key elements of shared reading. It focuses on the interaction. It maximizes the interaction between the student and the adult and the student and the other students. Makes connections between the book and what the student already knows through experiences. It focuses on commenting instead of answering question. Targets students who have complex communication needs and may not yet read or read with little comprehension or who don't like to read. So shared reading is really that opportunity to sit with a student or several students and read a story and comment back and forth to one another. It's not meant to be an activity to test a student, um, to ask WH questions and try to determine whether they're comprehending what you're reading in the book. This is really a time of sharing and commenting together about the book. So we use the CAR strategy. C-A-R stands for C, comment, A, ask for participation, and R, respond. So comment and wait. Now in a few minutes, I'm gonna be showing you a book and going through a little bit of how you would do this. But essentially what you're doing is you're reading a page of the book you make a comment and then you wait. And when you wait, you don't sit back and wait, you look at your student and wait. And that is the way you ask for participation is by engaging with them and looking at them. If after waiting, they're not commenting, it's okay. You might say something like, what could you say? And provide a little bit more wait time. If they decide not to respond, it's all right to go on to the next page and read that page and provide another comment. But if they do respond by using their communication board, or if you have verbal students, you want to respond back, repeat, add more, and wait. So if they use their communication board and they point to the word like, you could respond by saying, you said like, and then adding another word to it, you like, and then waiting to see if there's more that they might want to say. So the car strategy is pretty simple. Um, it's not always as easy when you go to read the book. Uh, I, Oftentimes it's easier to do it one-on-one, -on -one, but you can do it with a group too. So CAR stands for comment, ask for participation, and respond. So when you're getting ready to do shared reading, the preparation that you would need to make is to think about what book would you be using? So today I'm using Grumpy Bird because it has one to, two, one to three sentences. It's a fairly simple book. Uh, secondly, I'm going to choose some core words. And the core words that I chose, I picked walk, he, and what, because Grumpy Bird does a lot of walking in this book. And we use that pronoun he quite a bit in the story. And then on almost every page, one of his new friends says, 
what are you doing? So I wanted to focus on the word what as well. But your comments are not the core words that you're focusing on. They're different core words. So on the first page, my comment on the first page is not happy. The fourth thing you want to do in preparation is make sure you have a communication board that has core words and fringe words that would work with the book that you have chosen. So what does this look like? So let me go into another screen. And here is the book Grumpy Bird and I've prepared it electronically for you so you can see exactly what um, I would be doing if we were face-to-face. Face-to-face, I would have the book and I would be reading directly from the book. But I want you to see the communication board too. So let's take a look. Grumpy Bird by Jeremy Tanker. When Bird woke up, he was grumpy. Not happy. Not happy. Now I'm giving pause time and waiting for the student to provide their own comment. So let's say your student went ahead and he pointed to grumpy. You could say grumpy. You said grumpy. Bird is grumpy. Then you could continue reading your book. He was too grumpy to eat. He was too grumpy to play. In fact, he was too grumpy to fly. Looks like I'm walking today, said Bird. Mad. Walk. Mad. Walk. What could you say? Now, if your student pointed to bird, you could say, you said bird. Bird, mad. Pausing again, giving them time to maybe say something else. Moving on to your third page. Bird walked past sheep. Good morning, bird, said sheep. What are you doing? Walking, said bird. Nice, said sheep. I'll keep you company. Hello. Hello. What could you say? Maybe your student said sheep, or maybe they said walk. Maybe they said more. Whatever they said, you will repeat it and add an additional word to it. So if they said walk, you could say, you said walk. Sheep walk. And pause again, giving them more time to add to the story. So that's what shared reading looks like. I also wanted to make you aware of Shared Reader, and you have a link right there. Uh, that is for more professional development out of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. They have a professional development uh, website there that will lead you through more details about shared, re shared reading, more than I presented with you today. Also, the second one, Tar Heel Shared Reader, is a place where a website for many, many, many books. And these books already have the comments placed in them. And they can be read electronically. Uh, you with your students, or if your students want to read the books by themselves, 
So those are two more resources that you can use. So let's take a look. Our learning objectives for today define shared reading. So we talked about that at the beginning. Then we define the CAR strategy, comment, ask for participation, and then respond. We talked about the fact that the students have complex communication needs, and also they may not be interested in reading, or they can't read yet, or they can read, but they can't read with comprehension. All of those students will benefit from shared reading using the CAR strategy. And we provided a framework for choosing books and implementing the CAR strategy. So I thank you for your time. And again, if you have any questions, please email me at colleen.fritz at palmbeachschools.org. Have a great day.